KPRC 2 News begins right now with breaking news. And we start off with some breaking news right now. At 10 o'clock, homicide investigators have identified the man suspected of killing 12-year-old Carlos Fernandez as he slept in his family's apartment in the Cloverleaf area. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Daniela Guzman. And I'm Keith Garvin. The 27-year-old suspect, Terry Brian Rivera, is no stranger to the boy's family. And tonight, he is on the run. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry is live at the Harris County Sheriff's Office tonight with the latest facts in this case. Bryce. Keith and Daniela, Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez has identified Terry Rivera as the boy's mother's ex. Tonight, he is charged with capital murder in the death of 12-year-old Carlos Fernandez. Investigators say he slept in his bed when he was shot while his own family slept nearby. Tonight, 27-year-old Terry Brian Rivera is considered armed and dangerous. On the run, accused of killing innocent 12-year-old Carlos Fernandez. Around 3 a.m. Monday, Harris County Sheriff's deputies got called to the crossings at Alderson Apartments. Fernandez had been shot through this window as his mother, another man, and two little sisters slept. We're going to miss him, and then we're going to catch him. <laughs> the break in the case came Wednesday, just hours after Fernandez's uncle begged for justice. Sheriff Ed Gonzalez announcing Rivera has been charged with capital murder, revealing he's the ex-boyfriend of the boy's mother. He couldn't be with her anymore, so he took the next best thing close to her, which was her son. Investigators say Rivera is the father of two of the boy's siblings. They found the gray truck they think he used around the time of the shooting, but they're still looking for him. I just want justice for him. I just want him caught so he could pay for what he did. Rivera pled guilty earlier this year to terroristic threat after hitting someone with his car during a money argument about a renovation job. Records also show he spent eight months in jail 10 years ago after pleading guilty to assaulting a family member. There's now a growing memorial. Carlos is just a loving, sweet angel. He would do anything for anybody. As the family of Carlos Fernandez grieves, preparing to put him to rest next week. And tonight we've confirmed with the sheriff's office that Rivera got into a fight with the boy's mother just days before the murder. He pushed her to the ground, allegedly, and had a pistol in his hand, deputies say. But she did not report feeling any pain or discomfort at that time, so the Harris County District Attorney's Office declined charges. The boy's family has been in touch with my colleague Corley Peel tonight, telling her that they are relieved. Rivera has been identified as the suspect and hope that he's coming soon. Investigators tell me that he is still believed to be in the Houston area, so if you see him or recognize him, call the HCSO Homicide Unit or Crime Stoppers. Reporting live downtown, I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News.